resurgence level of form. Let's see if they can bring it on Dust too. Map number one here. Oh, Harvey's man. kick. Shoes are off for this one, Chad. I'm comfortable, and so is Shox. What are you up to? He's cooking up trouble straight into it. Trying to juke out with Simple. Trying to destabilize straight into the piece. Now, one expert favors Na'Vi. And we'll see if the pistol does as well. They return through their early crawl, and Simple does eventually win out on his tons jewels. I will immediately equalize it. It's up to Masuta here. He's going one for one. Correct chaos in the mid doors. Kyojin's got to hold on to what he has. It's Kit and two flash. Won't get to use it if he's hunted down. All right, well, they're still pivoting around the map here. Another smoke from Electronic now. That'll be a re-smoke on the mid to B. Isolating Kyojin here towards CT. It shocks over towards Kari. He's on his loans and flashed on through Kyojin's trying to get there to help him out. Flash could do everything, and it doesn't quite hit the mark, but Shox's bullets do, and another from Kyojin in support. Thrust simple into a one versus three. He's loud about this. Zaiwu going to be the contingency for A. He's rotated through already. Simple won't be able to catch that info if he waits. 13 bullets looking for Zaiwu. Spots him out. And closing that gap fast. The rotate's on its way. He wants to isolate this as fast as possible. Zaiwu's just going to buy time. Lovely positioning from him. Just peppers him on the jiggle. Simple running out of opportunities here and a nice conversion. Zywu with two and Vitality taking our pistol. I had a bit of a smirk on my face after the first four kills came in because both superstars got openings for their teams and then the sidekicks both got the second yeah. kills. So uh, we had Simple open the account for Na'Vi, Zywu do the same, then Masuta getting one and Electronic finding one. At that point, it's like, all right, well, we're on. We're on here. This Everyone's is already online. starting. This is what we want for the pistol. One on three, hard to get past here and good little skirmish there in the mid-round from Vitality. When it gets scrappy, so when you want to see him able to keep it together against a Na'Vi. It's going to be a light pistol upgrade here. So no heavy investment for Na'Vi into a round like this. They'd love to get a plant down. Got four MP9s out and about right here for the French. Shocks will be the only one into an M4. They've got utility. They've got kits to work with. And Na'Vi now just spreading across the map here, trying to bait out whatever nades they can. Double towards lower. The HEs rain down a lot of damage here, but nothing lethal. I mean, best case scenario, Simple opens up one of these sites with his Desert Eagle. He's been boosted and has successfully taken the head off of Apex. Masuta quick to the fight, though. He's not playing scared. He will not be caged in the presence of that Simple Deeg and immediately puts it down on the ground. Bit doesn't get much light time with it either. And these MP9s, though there was four of them, they've made very light work at this one. Zaiwu starting to farm. He's going to have so much cash at the end of that one. Three with the SMG. I think he might upgrade to the AWP here. He's got cash for it. He could drop that across to Apex, and three of them can rock those bonus MP9s while Zaiwu can buy into the AWP. But we will see Na'Vi on the other side of things get their buy out here. So simple in a uh, unorthodox boost. You don't see this one up close towards lower dial like that often. And then it's just clean up in aisle mid. Zaiwu and the boys rocking up, getting it done, and taking care of business to post their second. Now, they haven't actually gone for the AWP. On Zywu here, simple into the scout. Apex was on his own, and whoa, some tags either way. Perfecto chipped. Apex the same. And a push from Shox. This is quite quick. Yeah, it's Boomich's responsibility, and he's ready for it. No, he's not. The flash comes in, converts. Shox on the retreat, supported by the incendiary. He's out. And safe passage secure. Lovely start for Vitality. Some CT aggressions thrown in early. Yeah, you love that. You know, going right in towards T territory, taking a fight, little flash combo, and easy as you like. They've slipped back in for the 5v4. And the CT pistol, he did the same. He ran straight towards tons. I imagine Shox has been given the green light to go Aggie early. Oh, I've turned attention to Masuda's bomb site here, and he's only rocking a flash to his name. Apex on plat, putting some scouts down range, and another tag for Apex. So none of this so far is confirmed. He's put Perfecto and Bit low. They're more than the walking wounded here. That's a very wide peek out of Masuta, and suddenly Simple Electronic put their name in the feed. A hard one for Apex. He's all alone. How's he converted onto Simple? Can't finish the job he started on Bit. Now it's Zaiwu and Kyojin. They're well equipped in the sense of kits. They should go for this. You'd think. You certainly would. Whether it's tons or straight up the door is a different question. Electronics responsible for tunnels. He's the only healthy member as well here, so if they did want to press the issue, it will be the harder of the three fights available, and they're actually going to call it. I think there's a boom, it's rifle up top. There's a Galil, I think. So, oh, yeah. he's actually got, yeah, I've got something, and that's a Galil as well. So M4 and Galil, now I'm not too upset about the save. Sure. Yeah, you could argue, you know, a bit of more financial damage on the way out the door if they wanted to play for exits here, but playing the long game and the cliche, you've heard us say it every bloody best of five. 
It's a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, there must be an alternative, but it is, I mean, it is a perfect summation. I mean, best of five, Chad, we were talking about it before. We we saw that best of five reverse sweep fifth map. They've been here in that territory before. And what even, a crazy game that was. It was. <laughs> but you want to talk about crazy games? Even yesterday, man. Navi, oh, yeah. Navi Heroic, it, that felt like a best of five. Like, by the time we're on the third map and we're heading into those last, like, five rounds, my God, it was, you could see, like, genuine uh, exhaustion in their play. And we were still getting over Heroic versus Liquid for the day before, yeah. right? So, so uh, hopefully this one delivers three back-to-back -back bangers of games. Now, the buyback in from Vitality, it's there. Those save guns worth their weight in gold. Orp for Zywoo. Simple on that scout. Not going to fire a bullet. It's a four-man lean early. Perfecto, there's trouble around the corner, and it's brewing. The spam through. It's good. He gets the first, but it's traded. No concern just yet. However, Bit and Electronic cooking up some early trouble mid. Apex to try and cage them, and... Willing to unload his mag into that smoke. Oh, the reload's the Q, and they will creep. Cheeky. Apex looking the wrong way. He's in a lot of trouble here. The counter flash is oh, good. He manages his spray. That? I have no idea. And that smoke hoping to at least support his teammate Shocks. They're crawling into the B site. The bomb's on the back. Electronics killed the rotate. And there's nothing for Shocks to report. Falls apart for Vitality as Na'Vi. They do have a bit of a penchant for the uh, mid to Bs. Yeah, and great stuff from Electronic early here. Two kills for him just stopping this. We've already seen him on the mid to B having impact. And now he wants to hunt. Does find Kyojin's location. Let's see if Na'Vi want to push the issue here. Boomage through lower tunnel, simple, already cottoning off towards CT spawn. So it's a no-go zone for Kyojin. Now the round is done. He might even need to get a reload in here. So Boomage up cat, they know where Kyojin is. And saving this gun, it would be good. They don't have a lot to go into the next round with the French. More warning shots. But Boomage is getting closer and closer. And there he is, Kyojin cannot convert. Na'Vi uh, obliterate Vitality. And now the scoreline, sitting at 2-2. Two to two. Now this, yeah, this, this here. How does he manage this? You look at, he's so flustered. That's a flustered spray right there. Yeah, we didn't catch these initially, but this is Electronic's pair of frags, and yeah, Apex caught as he was trying to support Shocks. You could see Shocks really didn't get many opportunities there. First bullet just shy of the head, and a quick react out of Na'Vi. So they tie things up nicely, and it looks like it will be Na'Vi edging further ooh, ahead. Ooh, ooh. It's going to be uh, interesting to see just how they keep that intensity up the entire time. I think while we have a, a bit of a breather here, just this Apex scout, and out long we go. We can talk a little bit about that best of five we were talking about as IEM Beijing Haidan, which was, uh, I think it was in, well, November or, or something of 2020. Now, uh, the differences back then was RPK was still on Vitality, uh, but also they had the Nevera six-man situation in full force, right? Uh, that was a big conversation at the time. Should be an easy mark for a bit. And uh, Flamey was still in the uh, in the house for Na'Vi, right? And that best of five, five final, it started great for Na'Vi. They won the two opening maps out the gates uh, and then straight back responding Vitality with two of their own. We get to Mirage as the fifth and final and Zywoo pops off with the P250. I'm sure everybody's seen that round. So uh, I hope we get even just a, a little bit of the moments we had last time round with these massive names in the server today. I mean, if the game's ahead of this or before this rather were any, uh, any indication, I think they... There's a very high likelihood we get all of that and then some. Electronic again just fancies his chances and the flash is good. Got deja vu here as an even exchange leaves us with a four on four. And Masuta, this is brave. The flash is a bit of an indicator for Perfecto to be on high alert. And if he tries to cross that doorway, it's a very unfavorable engagement and it's too easy for Perfecto. Here goes Na'Vi, just chipping away at the fully bought up Vitality. Yeah, they're B-splitting now. They know Shox is isolated on that site. Kyojin can't push long. Zaiwu tasked with holding. Hey, Shox has done some good damage here, so he's holding mid to B at bay on his lonesome, and he's even going to evacuate the site. This is opening up the avenue to save, but he would need to win this fight, and he has. 3v3 now. Oh, he's just there in time. They're edging out of the tunnels, holding a sliver oh, gap and a dink into the head of Perfecto. He finishes the job as well. Shox is here, and he's making a competitive round after all. He was alone, Chad. But well, they can smoke doors. Simple has one to drop. It's going to go down. Even has a molly for the window if it'd like. But he knows where they both are. One site, one bricks. They can close this tunnels gap fast. Bomb now ticking. Simple posted up to receive them here on tunnels. And the Molotov, well timed. Buys time. That's a snappy one out of bit. Straight on the door's presence. They're uncertain as to how many are coming in from tons, but as the molly fades, Simple strikes. One for one. Zywu puts him down. It's on to bit. Closing the gap here loudly. Looking for bit. The element of surprise is all he needs. And call it four. 
Shocks made that competitive, but Bit just too good. Yeah, Shocks did a lot there, and he had a lot of room, right? You feel like Navi didn't capitalize on uh, capitalize on the space they had or use the utility they had early enough. So Shocks is able to walk down, get this one for free. The Dink and kill onto Perfecto is great here. Gives them a real opportunity for Vitality to put another round on the board. Bit pushes out, right? He gets that kill. Now, the reason they don't just immediately snap towards Dark is there could have been a CT already close in that smoke. So still on high alert. But here we go again. And uh, that annoying scout right there of Apex has been dealt with immediately. We know that Apex has a bit of uh, a likening for the scout. Likes to buy it on the anti-ecos. Likes to get it on the four spies. It is Iowa and Kyojin here, and they've actually just boosted Electronic up on the other side of the doors there. So maybe a standoff. Oh, go on, Masuta. He's got one and a half on the B defense, and it's wide open. There's no bomb on the back of Perfecto, but he will have full reign of this site. They have Simple still watching mid, right? So he can really call how many, or if anybody crosses, exactly like that. So he's shocks back and forth and even tag shocks on the passage back over. Now wow. there's really no way, right? So Boomich is going to just get that bomb over to Perfecto, who's still holding the house down of the B bomb site. Electronic has contained the long push, right? So there's no way forward for Zywu right now unless he wants to go for a very unfavorable fight. That bomb should be getting planted and Simple's even joined up with the crew. So Navi looking good for their fifth here. Safe. Or at least as safe as he wants to be there, Boomich. Molly as well, Bogdan's Law, it's all coming together. Yeah, just uh, that late in the round, right? Yazai, well, you're not considering that one. Let's see if they can take Electronic's gun away. Both pushing up mid, the awareness from Electronic there. And he mops it up. This is great form from Electronic early here. And, and the, this is where, right, we had the death touch note. They were going pound for pound with players. I, I feel like in terms of when they joined the team, they, they did shocks versus uh, Electronic, right? In terms of the veteran status and maybe some of the similar roles. I think in terms of the second stars of the team, this is where Masuta in a pound for pound way will be going up against Electronic. If Electronic's in this form, right, it's not going to be easy for Masuta to keep up. I mean, that bar is set incredibly high if that's who he's looking to replicate and to compete with. Boomich, though, it's good to see him fragging. Um, you know, he's hanging with them here. He was struggling to convert much other than that incredibly impactful 2K on Yard. Now he's already, you know, hanging with them on the fragging charts. Now, Shocks again with an opening. Speaking of the devil, it's Boomich that catches it. And you can see Bit lining up one component of this A smokes, and there's already one up. So has opted not to commit to that. It's just smoke and mirrors. They try mid to B again, and they can hear all this util long, so they might have a good idea that it was a long retake currently going on down. If they're to act soon, they can isolate a 2-on-4 fight on this B bomb site, right? Zywu mid long, Apex is A ramp, Kyojin floating long, so there's going to be so much pressure for Masuda and Shocks here. Even with this opening, it's not going to be easy. How brutal is this? You're playing against Navi on Dust2, and they haven't gone A once. Here they come again, knocking on your door, Masuda heads to the monitor and only does some damage. Poor Shocks. He's about to be cleared by so many Na'Vi members. And through the doors, they will finish off some of the job of Shocks. Puts us in a 3v3 chat. They're going to have a look in. A lot on the line here, though. And one flash for the retake. Have to be careful about the decision-making here, Vitality. Yeah, they're just seeing if he can find something. And damage isn't really what he was looking for. Call that one off, I think. Save that AWP. Give Zywu another chance in the next round. Kyojin just to escort him, escort him here. But that was easy for Na'Vi, right? Yeah, but I've, I've casted full Na'Vi T sides where they've gone long 10 out of 15 rounds. Now they've just started us off on the grand final. Dust to first map. And they've thrown all of that out the window. Mid to Bs, all in Bs. And just your standard default spread. I think the most action we've seen on A is electronic holding doors. Yeah, that's true. Well, let's take a little bit of a look here as well with the spawns that are coming on through and see if that initiates any more of these long plays or if it's something that has just been conditioning. If they really want to bully that B bomb side, that'll force Zywu to be that swing man with the AWP more over towards mid. Now, with these saved guns, we might see another vitality investment here. There's spawns, no long spawns again. Let's see what they opt for. Boomich and Bit just head down, charging straight down middle. No one to contest, understandably, after Simple's doors tags. And so they've gone for a bit more of a, a standard setup here on the CT side. Three towards long to get control. The float man of Apex now over towards CT spawn to assist with any mid to Bs or A hits, depending on what his intuition tells him here. Zywu mid long with the AWP and maybe just maybe if Boomich goes out. He's selling this. Yeah, Zywu might get pressured off. Have to play retake here. Look at those smokes. Hard to see anything. They're out mid to B. Hold up a second. It's brilliant. The bait and switch. Boomich trying to sell it as best he can. Tucked into CT to fend off the rotate. And again, Vitality are handed two bad options defend a 4v2 on b or push through boomich in ct it's not going to be fun or easy 
and they're fighting for him now. He nearly takes one with him. Zywoo aggresses, but they have the info now, and they're bringing the bomb towards short. Oh, oh. a lovely jiggle tag. Zywoo in the open does get booked. And Kyojin so low, he should be caught any second now. Look at the simple with just the P250 <laughs> hunting it down. We've seen him throw bombs to bit before. And now he can just sit and hold Misuta and Shox. Again, just handed a dud hand. What do you want to do with this? Yeah, do you go for it? Do you, you try no and get the AWP? Kit. Do you do some damage? I think, unfortunately, again, the best option is to save. Now, we know the cruel mistress of the CT side economy here. But with the loss bonus maxed out, right, and if they had saved an AWP in this equation, they could keep funneling guns across, right? You drop it, you have the 3400 as the loss bonus, your teammates have an extra bunch of cash in their back pocket as well. Here, it's not going to be the case. But you can see, you know how Boomich this time through the second component of the Avangar smokes? Mm. We saw Bit previously lining it up to partner up with that. So their intention of keeping Zywoo on A, they either take a fight early if they get the spawn long, or they do the two pairs of smokes A and Boomich can play around them and be presence. And either way, if it's not that, it's simple holding the doors. You just can't leave A once you're committed to it from spawn. Yeah, it's not going uh, yeah, very it's easily, right? Displeased, now. Chad. <laughs> Displeased. <laughs> He's uh, not having not, not having the easiest to start here. And uh, interestingly enough, they went for Inferno as the second map. I thought maybe they'd go to Overpass, right? We saw Navi lose Overpass last night. I thought, you know, maybe maybe we would see that get targeted. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be what they've opted for here. And, well, we get back into play with no Zywo AWP. So if you didn't think things were hard enough for Vitality, let's see just how difficult they can get. See, Electronic even doing this is keeping the players busy for a long pop, right? We see teams, they go into the bedroom, they wait until the CTs are kind of caught in no man's land or just establishing, okay, it wasn't a rush, let me take a breather. They extinguish the molly, the flashes come through, and then you're on high alert. So just keeping the Vitality players planted, they have no idea what to expect. And this time round, Bit is on his lonesome working this cat control. Na'Vi are hoping that there's some aggressive move from Vitality here. Now, it doesn't seem to be just yet. And of course, as I say, that Apex tucking on up aggressively towards short. Wombo combo with a Zywoo flash. This flash has to be good. Looking promising. Apex, nothing to report. Bits already slithered away. But yeah, you can see what's taking shape. Don't have to be a genius to look at the minimap and see how Na'Vi are looking to finish here. And again, you can see the wounds they've left. They are pushing for info, Chad. This is something else. Up short early. Zywoo and Apex Bit partner timing up. Here. And they will be behind the doors, players. Bit loud about this. Quick to find it. That was supposed to be the mid smoke. Boomich slips into one. Masuta collects. Here we go. Vitality, a successful defense on the cards. And just a couple more to find. Simple can't escape. And that will be the third. A clean one as well. That was great. They let Na'Vi play their default. They let them get the territory that they wanted. And then they took it back off them without them knowing, right? You could see exactly what happens there. The short push was genius. That actually blindsided Na'Vi. They think, okay, we've got enough respect, right? They're not going to peek us in short. They're probably expecting another bloody execute. But Apex, when he peeks out and he sees nothing at the time, you think, oh, that's nothing, right? That's nothing. So that information allowed them to crawl on through, allowed them to hedge that it was going to be this mid to be split. It's gotten Vitality their third round, and geez, that was close. Here he is, Boomich. He's out long. The flashed off Zywoo will we'll miss. They know there's an AWP in play now. They're applying a bit more pressure here. Back to the usual tricks of Na'Vi. Corner smoke. That's going to give a little bit of time for Zywoo and Apex to both get up towards the side. Now, let's see what type of an info play they're working with here. Zywoo looks like he's going to stand tall towards the top A. Apex and Kyojin with shocks are pincering in on middle. There's nobody home right now, but they should have a good idea that Perfecto Oh, that's like to lurk. Yeah, was he loud about that? Shocks versus Perfecto. Lots of here. talking. Cross air placements decent. Does eliminate Mr. Butterfly. Feels like a matter of time now, right? If they continue towards this A side, you're going to need something mental out of Zywu. Now, he's kept himself his full bag of utility, a smoke, a Molotov, and a flash. We know. And he might be wanting to drop the one that we see Simple do over towards those baskets. Hey, he's been watching your Reddit videos? Oh, no, this is just the cross smoke. I thought he was doing the jump molly. One for the cross. Flash for good measure. And they're on their way. Zywoo gobbled it up. Vision just about restored. And there's the util dump. There will still be time on those smokes. He's working on a very ratty angle here, but the flash looks well timed. He's aggressing. Zywoo. Oh, no, no flash, no luck. Apex with one. The divider smoke keeps him relevant. Trying to contest this plant with just the two of them. Still the rotate coming in. Kyojin from short to support. Hanging around, looking for any opportunity into this one. And that's the jewel. Needed one more. Time. 
14 seconds. That's a big one from Kyojin. Colossal. He takes them both down. He confirms Perfecto short. This should be there around every day of the week. And that's great from Kyojin. He arrives exactly when Apex needed him. That's a big boy round from Kyojin. That's what we're looking for here, right? Out of everybody in the final right now, Kyojin is the one who we're looking to as the biggest question mark. I, I'm pretty sure this is his first grand final ever. Right? Yeah. His first grand final ever. Yeah. I mean, let that sink in. Of course, you know, we know how Bit's first LAN ever went. So it's these rookies are a different breed, a different generation, and capable of things we can't quite comprehend. Well, they brought out the double orbs here. So let's see if Na'Vi can stomach this one. Shocks pestering around the doors here. Very risque maneuver here. Simple's just on the other side of the green box. And well, Shocks he doesn't stay around for too long. Just a cheeky little glance. As again, we see this spread from Na'Vi. Bit and Perfecto through the tunnels, getting this mid doors control. Bit's actually up short, going for a lot of space on his lonesome here. While they want to punish long, they are heading towards Kyojin's realms. Can he, he do can it again? Stand again, that will be huge. Two for two. Can you do it, Kyojin? His grand final, and just exposes himself to two. At least it's info, but no damage done. Zaiwu is in trouble. The whole Na'Vi squad are closing in on him. And this is quite the peak he's trying to take. Oh, and Bit's the one to prevail. A little gap under the smoke. Apex chaos. It's Na'Vi that thrive within it. And that's the round. It just falls apart. No way in. Yeah, with the save call again here, that secondary AWP is going to be looking delicious for Zaiwu in the next round. But you can see exactly there, right, just how if you're the long anchor, you can be left on an island. Because before, Na'Vi have exploded short, right, either whether it's Boomage coming out behind the Avangar one-way smoke or dropping into spawn. But there's so much more attention drawn to defending short. And they just walk out long. Kyojin goes for a speculative jiggle. Is anybody here? Let me, let me just check, guys. I'll make sure it's still clear there was a smoke. Ah. They're here. They're established. I'm dead. And now the A split is coming. That is perfect. When you think of an A split, Oh, ouch. Okay, Bit. Yeah, when you think of an A split, that's what you want. You want the perfect timing to be collapsing on the site and long at the exact same time. Oh, Shox isn't going to get to save anything. They're like full execute again. You got dribble smokes, door smokes. And a miss no scope. They deny it all. That's very, very punishing for the boys of Vitality. You can see their funds. It's a bit, it's kind of in disarray. You got three flush for cash. I say flush, more more like two. We'll see how the bit see. What does he see on Zywu there? He's just working on nothing. Well, I didn't see anything. No. But my face also wasn't an inch away from the screen like his. Also, he's probably got, you know, 213% digital vibrance and That's true. 500 different settings. Uh, uh, yeah, so right now, if, if we just take a look, you were talking about the money situation. The fact that Kyojin has 8.3, and we know we're getting 20 and 100 in the next, I would like to see Kyojin drop an orb to Zywu. They're completely into this. A full investment from Vitality here, and they need to be converting something. This is a risk to take. It isn't a full buy, so they're hoping that they can actually hit a couple of these. Yeah, well, fortunately, it's not the same uh, state of affairs. They're not going to go knocking on Kyojin's door, so... Shocks will get more time to play in mid. Oh, that's great information there for Na'Vi. Boomich and Co. now know they're operating with at least one AWP up against them here. You were trying to identify the little bits and bobs about this buy, and now you know the AWPs are out, but do you know there's two? He better make this one count. Does he f wait for a flash or just taking jiggles? Boomich might be... He may have spotted him. Yeah, there. his crosshair implies it. Flash to try and catch Na'Vi. Peeks out. Lack of armor. He's deleted in a heartbeat. Shocks is AWP now going to become rendered almost entirely useless unless he catches on the Xbox mantle. And yeah, it's time to save again. Narvium giving us a bit of a T-side masterclass here. They have to run. Vitality have no options. They're just being pushed on out, bullied on out of this. And Zywu, the one to go down first, just isolated there. Great stuff. And you can see if you're paying attention to the cabs, you can just see the amount of talking. So if you're not certain if they saw him or not, look at those lips moving. I'll tell you what really, really hyped me up as well was uh, Nafly just talking about... He, reminding himself and reminding us that the mindset you get into when you're one away from collecting the Intel Grand Slam. He said, you know, you get into this mindset where you're not going to let anyone take it from you. I just think that's, that is kind of what I'm seeing in the Na'Vi bootcamp. And I can imagine for Simple, right, you got to think about these are very personal storylines, but this is somebody who wants to win, right? He's had two years back to back where this kid from France has just come in and go, actually, no, I I'm going to be the best player in the world. Two years back to back.
with Simple B and the bridesmaid in both of those. After the year before, he was first. Yeah. And then you think about the context of this. Imagine having Zaiwu, after doing that, come out and deny you the Intel Grand Slam. I don't think Simple will be able to sleep at night, right? So uh, there's an extra bit of tenacity with Na'Vi in this one. They've spoken about it the entire time, that the Intel Grand Slam is more motivation for them here. It's the motivating factor for them to pick up Pro League. And they don't even have a Pro League trophy in their cabinet, nor do Vitality. Right? This is the first playoffs that Vitality have made ah, in Pro League. And this is early. Very <laughs> early, Dak Things are going this well. The Zibble's able to bring it out around early. Yeah, and this is going to hurt shocks only a Deagle. And four different adversaries advancing on him. Molly's a throne. And this round looks like 10. Just falling into shape. This is a Na'Vi with a point to prove and looking to make light work of this first half. They're looking nasty right now. Just absolutely running over Vitality and here. Speaking to the, the Zywoo point for a second as well, not only does he show up on his first rookie year and collect the HLTV world number one, he then, proceed, he then proceeds to get it back to back. <laughs> and he, the dude was born when Counter-Strike was born. I mean, it, there's yeah. some sort of weird simulation theory backed up by Zywoo here. The game. I, I think that's a very fitting nickname for him. He is the game. Yeah, like this one here, like where we have these names in the server. Now, look, we obviously haven't seen the crazy pop-offs just yet, but th these are this is like the Clash of the Titans, right? These are the gods of the game. These are the elite. This is They're on a tier of their own. But right now, Leave now him alone, simple. Oh, look at this. Yeah, and he's just running straight down. Look at this. Electronic on his way. Shocked you got this. Electronic feeds him. Okay, fifth. Perhaps on the agenda for Vitality. Uh, and apparently Shox has had to open the account a bunch of times here in this half, right? So another opener for him. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Boomich is sharp here too. Apex no. just got flatlined. He's been in the DMs. Did, wasn't happy with the uh, heroic <laughs> stats. Needs to be sharp today, and he is. Okay, well, they're going to get the Dak Dax out of their hands now. So we've got three AKs and AWP up against the double orps and the two rifles here for Masuda and Kyoji. But Masuda is low. He's just limping around the map here. Ooh, a little variation. Same start as the Xbox smoke, but we see Zywe were catching this one. Just the bridge smoke there. So Zywe knows this is clear. Kyojin is about to be tested here in a big way. Oh, I can't believe he's brave enough to hold this against a potential orb peak. Oh, he Straight just stepped out. away. He just jiggled away just before they came out. Zywe has to do something massive here. He's the only one here. All right, monsieur. That's a good start. He's taken down Simple. And there's more coming in through the smoke. Simple's down, so is Bit. He's taking scalps. Zywe wants more. Knocking over the smoker. Hail Mary, no scope. Not good enough. And a 1v2 demanded. Oh, Shoxy. Pushing through as it fades. Perfecto's holding, but does snap in. A cancel plan. Jumping for it. That's craziness. And now he knows exactly where he is. Information oh. dancing with him. Oh, will give us something to cheer about for the French. Na'Vi looking in full control here, Chan. Yeah, open runway towards Long here. 1x bet odds still favoring the CIS Super Squad. And well, out Long they barrel. Boomich, he's seen a lot here and he's about to be pushed back. Oh, oh, never um, mind. Uh, two very quick ones and no smoke on the cross. They were given the opportunity and they seized it. This kind of cancels their plans and oh no, everything. this is over. Oh, it's all over, just shocks. All of them punting in multiple targets. Oh! No, 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 none of that, please. I've seen it once, I can't see it again. Jeez. Flashbacks from Beijing. Shocks this time with the P250. <laughs> oh, okay, deep breaths. In through the nose, Yikes. out through the mouth. I, I think if your vitality here, let's check this out again from Shocks. This second one here was jeez. Okay. But he gets the upper guy. I'm Bosh. like, maybe, maybe. That was good shooting from Shocks there. Good to see him in some form. Obviously had that clutch to uh, get the fifth on the nose there on the way out the door of the first half. But oh, okay, let's focus in. It's the force buy for Vitality here. We've got that scout in Apex. Zaiwu into the AK-47. Deagles for the rest here. And just a light smattering of utility up against. Oh, it's three Famuses and two MP9s. Let's see if Vitality can get the Zaiwu snowball rolling down the mountain. Oh, they're testing Boomich here. Yeah, he's quick to the draw, though. Drops the smoke and just buys himself time. He can disappear. He can be anywhere he wants in this 15-second window. He's actually just called for Simple's backup. They could boost Bluebin. Or they can just establish a 
Standard crossfire. Apex having a look for the site player, and it is a safe jiggle from that electronic FAMAS. They're coming for Boomich, though, and they are out. And the Suter's Deagle goes unscathed. Zywu gone, the AK's on the floor, but doesn't stop Kyojin's Deagle from finding some more. They know there was electronic on site, scouted out early by Apex with the scout, appropriately. Well, they can fall back, you know, they've got time for this. A kill's just gone down over towards short, so great find there from Perfecto that you still don't have to commit to this here if you're Vitality. You have a way out in shocks, who's hovering around mid doors now. He's going to come up short for a little bit of a flank, and this is all going to be on the timing here. The AK in Masuda's hands, this would be a great moment to have him pop off. Ooh. Electronic confirms they're still coming. Yeah, that's a lot of info spotted the bomb as well, but still, Masuda flying his trade with the upgrade, and now another that's bit down to and Perfecto up against them. He's been clutching plenty here in Pro League. And with 15 seconds left, Chad, this is by no means a guarantee for Vitality. I need a safe plant. Jumping for the info and can't catch him. So now it favors Vitality distinctly with 50 HP as well. Hoping to be fed something. They are quite close to one another. The spacing makes me a little uncomfortable. Right on top of each other, a firing line. Hoping that the off angle's enough, but Perfecto could mow them both down if he's not careful. Okay, kyojin has gone on the swing. Masuta's palms get a little more sweaty, oh, but that's exactly what he had to do. A sixth on the board, courtesy of Masuta. Never mind Zaiwu, it's his AK and his Deagle that fill the feed. Yeah, that's what we're looking for, right? Masuta showing up with a big round there, and that's going to send Na'Vi tumbling as far as their finances are concerned. Now, this round here is made possible by Apex. The fact that he's up short and shoots the scout bullet at Electronic means that Simple has to leave. Boomich, right? You're going to have a bigger concern about them coming out of short and aim mapping you with the scout than you are maybe Boomich heard something at long. They walk out long, they take advantage of that, and from there the trades continue to fall in Vitality's favor. Out long they go. Yeah, it's going to be a three on three. Bit of deathmatch here on Dust 2. They're close. Look for Electronic. It's Bluebin. Ah, was Bluebin. Molly the pit pushing the limit. He's tucked in. And they are going to try and force the issue here. So as long as they get away from this push, Boomich only gets the one. So nothing to get too alarmed about. Simple has a scout over towards Car here. And I, I guess the bigger issue for him is his low HP. They could molly or nade him out of position quite easily. Doesn't have a smoke to extinguish. So Simple's very committed to this angle. Even leaving this position is not going to be easy. The corner smoke entices him to have a little bit of a look and he'll call sector clear. But Perfecto's rotated over as well. This might be a situation where they try and go long and collect any of the goodies that they can find. Maybe pick up some pistol upgrades, that gun that was on the ground, see where it's been left, or if the housekeeping's been done by Vitality. <laughs> yeah, that's the low HP, so yeah. there you go. I mean, that was just pure reactions. Lovely stuff out of Apex, just to ensure that there's only going to be one potential save. Yeah, bomb should be going down here, so no dramas. In fact, I was actually wanting to have a look at this. 5-7, uh, uh, chips away, but he's not going to get anything done with this here. A kill would have been great, just more damage. And now it's 11-7, to seven. so this is where Vitality start that comeback, right? 5, it didn't look great. Shock's getting the clutch. I think that definitely helped the stocks there of players functioning in the server today for Vitality, but this one here is very, very good. It forces Na'Vi into an eco. It forces them just to sit and, I guess... Chill out, have a good time. Just Stewing say, it. guys, we got some USPs. Anybody want to push? And uh, they got a few flashes to facilitate that. So looking like a late mid-door cross here. They've already sent Bit across and he's lonesome. The other four stand strong with Boomage's flash ready and raring to go. They're going to push mid here. <laughs> what a perfect need. Two of them on the doors catch that, and there's a flash with a Mac 10. Oh, Vitality, you are set yourself up for success. Wasn't anticipating so many. As he leaps in and throws a Mac 10 to Na'Vi. Nice tag from Apex, tracks him to the door, bombs on his way long, and well, with a couple of USPs and a Mac 10, they'd love to find a couple more. The boost isn't a bad idea, you know, but watched out nicely, defended, and they're not in a hurry to get the bomb down. It's perfecto. Backing off to farm kills with this, or is he thinking about keeping it here? Because they may as well take as many guns with them as they can. Yeah, this should just fall apart now for Na'Vi. Let's get a little bit of damage done, a couple of kills, that's nice. All things considered. So we cops the dink as well, so the aim is on point. The weaponry not so much, and there you have it, 11 to 8. This is a game. Now we have the guns out for Na'Vi. Should be the AWP available for Simple. He buys on in. And so we're going to bring out his big green on the other side of things here. Yet to see him purchase. 
has plenty of money to do so. 7K in the bank balance, and it's just going to be an AK. So the call might be something a bit more gritty, a little bit faster paced if the AWP is not coming out just yet. Over towards Long, Masuda and Kyojin. Zai, we're watching mid, just jiggling there to catch that lower dark push. And Simple's been boosted up towards short. So pretty standard stuff out the gates here. If I'm Apex, got to be hyper aware of potential for that boost or a peek from Simple. He's fine, he's safe, he's got his territory. It's a bit of a, a weak A hold in the sense that Perfecto is very committed towards mid doors right now. Right? He's uh, jumping around in the boxes, just positioning himself up. Bumich is in a position where he's more like he's not anchoring long, it's like a spot and fall position, and Simple is trying to retain as much short control as possible. They're really hoping for the B play here. Electronic resides in the site with Bit. They've still got a smoke on Electronic here. So this is a good setup to lock this out. Masuda looks like he's just going to be selling a little bit of something, something, because that's a door smoke coming on through. And the action will be on B. Yeah, a gray screen and loading his mag. Electronic's taken one with him, and it's Zaiwu. Gray scout to be posting. Bit. He's got that shock slip the net, and now just too wide for him to deal with. It's Kyojin again with some high impact for the Frenchman. Masuta another, and call it nine. Hello, Vitality, coming in from a 10-5 half. Never mind losing the pistol. You win the fourth and run away with four. Yeah, they're going to be at double digits here. Boomage, even if he saves the Famas, it's not going to help them out too much. The loss bonus isn't maxed out yet. It's only 2,900 in the next round of play. And I think that was great. The flashes were so good that Bit had no idea there was a player already up in platform, right? And he's meant to be able to be the safety net of that because Electronic, the mad spam, you can see him trying to get in position before the hit comes in. And that was shocks. That was shocks, right? This is the guy that we're not necessarily looking at him as an entry fragger for this team, but he's taken so much space on the CT side. You saw him getting involved in a lot of opening jewels. Here he is. Look how far ahead of the rest of the pack he is. Bit had no clue, right, that Shox was already that far up on platform because everybody was blind. Nobody could see a goddamn thing. And now Na'Vi will have to stomach another eco here. Zawu gets his AWP. Everybody else into the AKs and, oh, okay. Bit of frustration here. Now we know that mentally there's more in this for Na'Vi, right? Yeah. Just this grand final, three maps. Quite literally more to lose, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, for once, right? Yeah, like, we can actually put a, a dollar figure on this, guys. Yeah. Ah, well, they've sent them scurrying here. Bit's on his lonesome, and oh, he has a deagle, so we know he loves the good headshot old bit. Let's see how many yeah. he can get. And it's just so easy for him. Zai was desperate to trade. Don't go feed in the beast, though, because the rotate's on their way. They're trying to punish him. Huge. Bit's taken two down. And Vitality are about to fall to the deco. I could see it coming. Na'Vi, look at the upgrades they get. That costs them nothing, and they break Vitality's heart there. Oh, dear. That one really spiraled out of control, right? You think after the opening kill on Long, Vitality, they just slow it down. They get some map control. Instead, they were flustered in towards B, and it was a race between Na'Vi and Vitality to go around the world to get to the B bomb site. And Na'Vi, they responded in more than enough time. Bit slows them down. He even gets a second kill for his troubles. And an Electronics P250, bloody beautiful. And now we get both teams into a buy here. So Na'Vi are giving themselves a second win here. Their buy looks schmick. They even have a, a bit residual on three of their players right now. And Simple posted up. They clearly wanting to hold this short control with the AWP, not wanting to allow Vitality to have open roam. They're very passive right here towards top mid. Zaiwu over in Suicide. Masuda back at Cat Apex and Kyojin as well, just hanging out. It really is on this Shock's Lurk to see what he can find. And some nades towards mid signals that there was short presence in play. And now they're testing Boomage. They're out long. Boomage wow. is already down. That was quick. Yeah, I just saw Shock's talking a lot before they all catapult towards long. Now, Simple's been forced off. He fires off a shot. Zaiwu going to be set up for success in the pit. The rest reset. That's a perfectly timed molly. Bit's close angle will be cancelled. They're splitting A. There's Coming nobody there to help Electronic. Okay, this could be gangster. Simple's going to be trying to be there in time. We've got 50 seconds for this. And as the contact comes from short, you've got to be extra careful not to expose oh, yourself. This is really messy timing. He's boosted up in time. And now, threatening multiple targets. He will get one. It's Electronic that steps up to the plate with the double. And now Vitality running out of options. Zai was supposed to be the unknown entity. Oh, oh. my god, what is that from Shock? My god, he's made it competitive. Floats through short. Now the bomb, unfortunately, for him. 
is very hard to retrieve. Zywu's brain starts to whir. Thinking it through, and he hits the shot. Perfecto, just looking for info, but he catches hot lead instead. That's quite the recovery. Can we see that again from Shox? That first shot looked robotic. Shox is delivering in such a huge way this game. What they are getting, joy it. Oh boy, everyone is present. The supporting cast throwing some incredible punches as well. This is not just a one-on-one. -on -one. Electronic looking incredible. Yeah. Shoxy looking retro. It's just, it's like simple. Who's the one who's not popping off just yet? That's true. Only 10 kills to his name. He's the one down the bottom of the scoreboard here for Na'Vi. And we don't say that very often at all. Now this is another swing round because Na'Vi have opted to invest heavily into this. The AWP's out, the rifles are there, the util too, but they lose this one. They're just looking at that 2,900 loss bonus again. So an important round here for both teams. Oh, good Molly. There's no long funny business this time. They're just looking like they want to pop short with everybody. Shock's on the lurk, the four of them up cat. Electronic and Boomage are here to deal with this and Simple's not too far away. Is it gonna be quick? It looks like they want to go now. Still 60 seconds on the clock, the flashes are there. Masuta again deals with the problem. And Electronic only a FAMAS. They know where you are. And Simple's there to support him. Molotov down of position. Simple's off on Overwatch with multiple targets in front oh. of him. Apex unable to convert any of them. And now falls apart. Shocks and Zaiwu. Best two players so far here on Dust24. The French squad. And a single smoke grenade to try and work into a two versus four. That's worth a shot here. It could really hurt Na'Vi's economy like this. And it looks like they're about to set up a run boost or something a little bit quirky. Oh, Zywu's just swinging. Yeah, and the electronic's not going to give him anything. Oh, but the ball bank's bang on. He's looking for hit the, the pair. He's so scary, and Simple's posted up for this. Zywu unprepared for it, but he has got shocks across, has he? No! Oh. Simple denies a very slither gap, does take the head off. And just the one extra frag to report. Oof. All right, a couple of scorches there coming out of either side. Masuda as well, they're just coming through on the entry roll. On this T side, Masuda's been really good at finding these openings, applying a lot of pressure. His AK coming up trumps in these situations, but now it's Vitality you have to question what they want to do with their buy. As we expect, Apex into the scout, the rest into some cheeky digs, a P250 for Zywu. And the buy is looking better for Na'Vi now, but they need to consolidate. They need back-to-back -back rounds here to start building this CT side at bank, and that's a good start. Simple onto shocks. And they have the 5v4 number advantage right now. This one here should be Na'Vi securing the 14th, but I think down the stretch here, that's when things are going to get really, really interesting. Vitality, they're throwing a lot Na'Vi's way here today. In a round like this, you've still got a smoke and a flash. You'd love to be able to swarm that site, get a kill or two, keep that economy where you need it to be and get that bomb down. Yeah, plant's definitely going to be a priority. Not going to be easy or particularly attainable. Apex no makes it out. Too. Yeah, you'd be very lucky to be given an opportunity into these two. Oh, tracks them. I think there's two rounds. That might be the call. And, well, losing his partner in crime puts Simple on no chance. They run him down. He does go down. Now it's all on to Boomich. A FAMAS for the long hold. And they should get that plant. Mission accomplished. And the hard part perhaps can to come because that bomb's just now gone down. They've got no health, no armor. And dare I say it, no hope. There's just nothing in it. Masuta's Deagle, the best bet, has to find oh. the first, and he has. Short would be a dream. It's not a short plant. Sticks around. Aggression from Kyojin trying to soften them up. He gets a couple of tags of his own. And that's the end of that. Call it 14. Vitality, though, with a bomb plant and three kills. <laughs> that's uh, what I was talking about is the dream list. Obviously, they would be uh, dreaming forever if they're actually to pick up that round, but that is perfect, right? You're not going into that expecting much more. They get everything they wanted here. Masuda can drop an orb. They can get this one going. Simple and electronic, the two, right, the backbone, getting absolutely dismantled during all of this. You know what the saving grace was? Both of them died on the ramp. They couldn't push to get the guns. Boomich was just able to guard the guns. If you're Vitality, we need the rifles, we need the rifles, we have to defend. You can see the pressures on here. Blade even, a little of the face palm there, but they do survive. And now they have to get past this gun round from Vitality. So threatening with the pistols, the rifles are back out. The spread in towards tunnel. Shocks paired up with Apex. Masuda and Kyojin back a cat right now, waiting for their orders. And Zywu again down middle with his AWP. Still fragile for Na'Vi now. They're not working with residual cash here, so they could be broken, and this can get much, much closer. Vitality just need this round. Looks like they're working on Simple's domain. Apex 
The front of the pack here will be smoked off. That buys about 20 seconds now. I think they might continue to push the issue here over at Short. Shox is just selling something over towards B. Hey, you need to stay honest. You can't be leaning mid right now. You need to focus on the upper tunnels. And they're actually sending Zywo over to have a little bit of a look here with the AWP. Is he just making noise? That big nade's just gone down as well. Well, keeps the B-Util down. It's actually pulled Electronic to the B-Site. I think the additional step's a nice touch. But as I say that, I see Vitality with intentions for the B-Site. Interesting. Yeah, it feels like maybe they oversold it. Yeah. It's been a little bit too convincing. Here we come. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, consider an eight. Bit does nothing with his position, and now it's all on to Perfecto playing that car well. Kyojin's looking the wrong way, and just the two of them have made it a real nightmare for Zaiwu to get into this site. He's going for a full clear. The flash is perfect, and Na'Vi looking absolutely locked and loaded for a dust two conversion. <sighs> Strong stuff here now. Just one more round required. No money left over for Vitality. As per the previous, they weren't able to get the bomb down. They weren't able to keep it interesting, and. Well, yeah, this should be Na'Vi locking up the first. Now, we do have Inferno coming through as the map choice for Vitality. Going to be interesting to see how that one unfolds. And Na'Vi just need to push this over the line here. And, yeah, very late buy. You can see how late this is. They're still buying there as Freeze Time have concluded. So just trying to work out what the call was. What, what pistol am, am I allowed? What utility do I need? And looks like they're going for something quick here. Early Xbox smoke. Back a Catwalk presence. And maybe they'll just try something a little bit fast outside of the... Uh, the normal just yeah. to playbook. Well, as we've discussed, the Electronic's really been comfortable on this A-hole. 25 frags and counting from him. Smoked off for now, and actually Electronic surging towards the smoke. He's not going to be expected here, and oh my god, they all run into him! It's four in quick succession from Electronic, and he's chasing the 30. 